What's up, everybody? Jason from jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2020 Panini Prism Football Hobby two box break. Two random teams each. Number two just sold out, guys. And again, 16 total spots. Everybody gets two random teams in the NFL. All card ship. Happy new release day, too, guys. I just so many new releases. Besides Prism, you have Allen and Ginter Chrome. You have Flawless Baseball. You have uh, Draft Picks Prism Baseball. Um, I mean, it's, it's crazy day today, guys. But we're starting off with a lot of Prisms early on. So let's go, guys. Let's roll the dice. And we got a two and a four for six times. So good luck, six times. And we rolled a six again. Yeah, I guess it is a timestamp. Alright, so here's the names. Here's the teams. Hold on, guys. I want to make sure that I did roll the six again. Oh, yeah, we did. Wow. That's crazy. All right, six times. I was just rewatching the replay of my video really quick. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Brian Croft. Down to Amber. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Titans down to the Carolina Fal uh, Carolina Panthers. Sorry. All right, so Brian Crowd, you have the Titans. Adam Coverman with the uh, Buccaneers. Max with the Texans. Adam with the Seahawks. Greg with the Browns. Amber with the Raiders. Christopher with the Washington football team. Max with the Cowboys. Joe with the Jaguars. Uh, Romeo with the Bears, as well as the Steelers. Matt with the Giants. Derek with the Ravens. Chad with the Bills. Amber with the Saints. Adam with the Vikings, Eagles. Brian with the Jets. Joe with the 49ers. Gary with the Packers. Uh, Shackleton, you have the um, Dolphins. Amber with the Broncos, as well as the Bengals. Ryan, you have the Rams. Uh, Chad with the Lions. Greg with the Colts, Matt with the Pat uh, Patriots, Amber, last ball mojo, Chargers, Chris with the uh, Chiefs, Gary with the Falcons, and Amber with the Carolina Panthers. All right, if anybody wants to trade, guys, I'll give you guys a quick minute. All right, Raiders for Ravens. Uh, Derek says no. Rams up. If not, guys, I'm closing it, guys. Um, Jay, let me pin the break schedule for you so that way you guys can see it. Uh, but there it is right there, and uh, we have Hobby Pikachu number one. Pikachu number two is not sold out yet. We have two left. 
it is right there at the bottom for some reason i think it's showing up at the bottom of the football collection page it's down here but two left there uh and then of course three and four left the number four so i think i'll be able to get all four in before joe gets here and then um hopefully we get someone gets that last team in flawless gets the cardinals we can break some flawless as well but yes uh number one is after this all right guys trade window closed you know it, Pete. If it's early, it's a new release day. Um, probably. Uh, we did a filler for what number nine, right? So, uh, I assume at some point today we will have a filler for number ten. Um, but you know, like I said, so many people are going to be coming in and buying Prism. Maybe the maybe we'll have some people just buy these teams straight up. But I'm sure at some point uh, we will post a filler. But um, like I said, with Javi coming out today. Um, it's just people are going to be buying hobby. So even if we post a filler, obviously can't guarantee that it's going to sell as quick. So. There you go. Alrighty, guys. So let's choose a box really quick. I think we did box 1 and 11 earlier. So let's actually, sorry, before I do that, let's generate a box number. So we did number 1 and 11. So let's generate two more numbers. Uh, so let's click generate and it's five. So we have box five right here. Yeah, I think someone was asking earlier if we were going to post up more hockey and I'm sure we will post up more um, chronology. It's just like I said, I think today's such a very packed release day. Some of those other breaks may sit like hockey and stuff so we're probably posted up maybe tomorrow tomorrow and sunday all right one more box guys eight like i said there's four actually new, big new releases today you know what i mean oh i think you said hockey breaks uh probably i mean at some point we will as we sell them out i read hockey for some reason but yeah i'm sure we will at some point so there's number eight and number uh, three right there. Or sorry, not three, number five. I was supposed to get number five. All right, was it five? Yeah, it was five. There's five. I know it's kind of hard to see it, but that's a five. All right. But yes, guys, I'm sure we will have more hobby. But uh, as we continue to sell out all of these figure teams, we probably won't post more. The only thing we might continue to post more is hobby random teams, of course. So let's uh, sell out the first four picker teams, guys, and then that'll give Nick... Uh, some time to post up the next couple. Again, I don't know how much hobby we have today. We could only have so many cases today, and then we get more cases tomorrow. Who knows? And I'll tell this. I'll tell people this now, guys. Prism hobby is gonna come in waves. You know, not not everybody gets the price uh, the same the first wave. So, um, if we have to pay up, guys, tomorrow if we get more because it's from a different place, uh, prices are gonna change. So just remember that we always like to try to keep them as close as possible, but um, I know that's not always the case, though, especially with Prism Hobby. So just be aware of that. You might see a price for a team posted right now at this price. You might see it a little bit higher the next time. And that's not because we're just like, oh, let's just raise the prices because we want to. You know, it's just more like, hey, man, we have to make a little bit off of this, right? Uh, especially when we buy a secondary market, we're buying it just like you guys. But yeah, no, I mean, at the same time, some places have better connects, some places got X amount of cases at a better price at the end of the day. I honestly think we're always very competitive, though. If you go look at our personal box prices, I think they're always the best there out there. Um, I can't say that we're number one, but we're always competitive. So whenever we sell out of stuff, whenever we sell out of stuff, and we have to post more because we bought it at a second place. It's going to go up. But 
Um, pick your teams is always tricky. Some people like to capitalize on the Chargers and, and price them the super highest. And then the rest of the teams are really, really cheap. And then some teams like to keep it even. Price up some of the cheaper teams. Have the Chargers a little bit less. Everybody has their own method. But if you ever get to do the math, it's almost all the same. Also, I think we have a patch auto coming out too, which is a case that I want to say. So far, this is the second random team EA. Pikachu number one starting after this. Remember, guys, I pinned the break schedule right there. If you guys want to click that, you guys can see the schedule. But so far, uh, first two RT sold out, then Pikachu number one sold out right after. Oh, of course, man. Yeah. I mean, someone really wants to do all the work and look up everybody's prices for sure. You'll see the difference, but it's really never that much difference. Like you said, if it's about 5%, that's not, that's nothing. It's just depending on how you want to price your picker teams. You kind of, you kind of also have your breaker. You kind of go with your customer base, right? In a way. I'll show Jeffrey. So, like I said, if you're a person that it's all about the prices for you, the good thing is that we're not the only place to shop at. There's many places. I always tell people, I don't blame you guys if you guys find better prices somewhere else for your team or your specific box break because I don't shop at one place. You know, I, I shop at multiple places. Some people like certain breakers, so they're willing to pay the extra percentage or extra... Uh, extra uh, money for a specific team because they like breaking and some places they won't so I always just tell customers that if they get frustrated why our, our prices are a little bit higher and then some people will be like man your guys' prices are great it's just it's going to be up and down everywhere Chase Young Prism Joe P Ugh. freaking Prism garbage Chan Bailey. Out of 249. Dexter Lawrence. Brad and Ayuk. From. I'm pretty sure we will. I think obviously that we notice that picker teams sell much quicker, so we pre-order picker teams. Random teams is much easier to sell once you post it. Um, but I'm sure we will, man. We always have to have at least one random team. Just like this prism, you know, we, we realize random teams we're gonna sell, so um, we can always just post it up a couple days before the release. But um, I'm sure we will have random teams though for a Bowman draft. It's just picker teams always are the ones to. To, to move quicker because everybody likes to rather pay their fixed price for their team. Eric Hendricks. And Grady Jarrett. Chase Claypool. All right, we got Alan Lazar. All right, we got a patch auto or something crazy here, which I've only ever pulled like two patch autographs in my whole prison career of breaking. C.D. Lamb out of 49, patch autograph for the Cowboys. Very nice. Ooh, we got a two in this box. And Prism No Huddle, if you've seen Tua, most likely Herbert was popping out. So there you go, there's a Tua. Dolphins.
And there's your Herbert. Chris Jones and Herbie. Very nice. And for the Bills. Hobbies the same? Yeah. I think once you get one sequence down in one product, like a variation product, it's going to be the same throughout. Right away early on, you catch on to like Zion and, and Matisse Thibel and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Which is kind of funny that they actually do it that way. This is obviously machine packed, but it's funny that you can kind of catch on to that. So guys, I know you guys seen your teens, but just to show you guys again. DeAndre Swift and Jim McMahon. All right, next box. Antoine Winfield, Jr., silver for the Bucks. I love that the silvers this year pop so well. Kind of just reminds me of the old school, like 2013. C.J. Henderson at a 175. Utah Gross Matos. You know Benjamin also, they say, is a, is a, a third when it comes to Herbert and Tua. Sean Alexander to 125. LaVisca Chenault. Joe Burrow. Albert O to 249. Zach Moss. CD Lamb. Adam Thielen. And there you go. There's the tool. Tua Toga Vailoa. Based there for the Dolphins going to Ryan. And there's Herbert. Grady Jarrett. Army Tunsil. And we got Landon Collins. Isaiah Simmons, Devin Duvernay. Minka Fitzpatrick. Minka 
Joey B. Wow, this has been a great box. You have all three big quarterbacks in this box. Wow. CD Lamb, one of one black finite autograph. What a break for the Cowboys. Max Norton. Not only did you get a patch autograph in the first box, you're getting a black finite of CD Lamb. Wow. Jesus. Man, I hate the Cowboys. You guys know me. I'm a big Eagles fan, but CD Lamb is legit, which is scary. Wow, what a break for the Cowboys. Man, look at that. Whew. Jeez. Man, if that was Herbert, I would have freaked out. <laughs> Chase Claypool. Montez Sweat. Jake Luton, Gabriel Davis. And James Proch to 49. I mean, it's probably going to end up on our Instagram, like, in the next hour once I text it to Nick. Sean Alexander. Queen and Gallimore. All right, well, wow, what a, what a great two boxes. I mean, not only did this have, like, a great, crazy patch auto and a 101 finite, but regardless, I mean, this thing had two Herberts, two Tua Togovailoas, all this color, and it had a Burrow in there. So I feel like more of the top-tier rookie rookie quarterback teams didn't do too bad. Um, and, of course, all the extra color, which always sells extremely well in Javi. Um, but, man. What a crazy hit right there, guys. That's a nice way uh, to start off your second break of the day. Right there. So, again, this was Random Teams number two. And, of course, here are the autographs. There's another two of Herberts there. CD Lamb patch autograph and a one on one Black Finite autograph of CD Lamb. Would be fitting I pull this as well. So there you go, guys. Appreciate it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.